are to July what toilet paper was to March. That's how one local realtor describes Cincinnati's housing market, which is the hottest ever for sellers, and that means home buyers are facing the heat. If you've had trouble trying to buy a home recently, you're not alone. The inventory has been falling for a decade. So many homes that do become available often sell the day they list above asking price. And that means prices have skyrocketed. So Courier reporter Tom Demaropoulos sat down with an expert, Lori Wellinghoff, with Comey and Shepard Realtors, who offered some tips for any potential buyers and sellers. Lori, thanks for, for joining us today. Thanks for asking. Yeah. And uh, so, Lori, we've been working on the story about what's happening in the residential real estate market and wanted to ask you, what's it been like working with buyers in this market? Um, I would say musical chairs. Uh, there are not enough seats for everybody that wants a place to sit down. Or perhaps another analogy might be um, a dating site with no one on it <laughs> or very few to choose from. Um, so. Uh, there are um, significantly more ready, capable, and eager buyers than there are properties to be had. And Lori, why do you what do you think are some of the factors that are contributing to this historically low, you know, historically tight market? Well, I think there are quite a few, and I've made them all up. Um, so uh, there isn't some uh, magical industry trade magazine or organization that has come up with the aha conclusion, but I think it's an aggregation of factors that includes um, Gen X, Gen Y, Echo Boomers, Millennials, all um, decided to get a late start coming into the real estate market and spend their, their hard-earned money and their lives chasing experiences instead of the American dream of home ownership. So late bloomers and not putting a lot of pressure on the bottom. Then I also think that, um, you know, 50 is the new 40, you know, 60 is the new 50, uh, 60 is the new 50, you get the idea. Um, so what happens is a lot of people have said, hey, wait a minute, I'm not ready to downsize. I'm not, at 60 now, I feel, you know, I feel happy. I'm not the same retiree that even a generation ago, that was you know, time to start thinking about another life stage. That's not coming now till people are reaching into their 70s. Therefore, no pressure from the bottom, no movement from the top, and you've got sort of this crush of not moving the market, not moving inventory off the shelf, if you will. Then on top of it, money has been really, really cheap for a long time. So somebody says, hey, you know, I can get 2x the house I could have gotten because my interest rate is going to be so low. Perhaps that's a little exaggeration, but a lot more house. For every point of interest rate that we save in, in interest, we can buy 19% more house. So it's a pretty significant delta. Therefore, um, I think more people are putting pressure in the system than we're in Cincinnati. And Cincinnati is still a town that has a Germanic sensibility that makes us more predisposed to being homeowners than perhaps in the coastal markets like New York or San Francisco, where people are more apartment dwellers. And now, guess what? COVID. And on top of that, a lot of people who might have been sellers in the spring market, which would have been somewhere around Feb, March, starting into April and May, um, all hunkered down and said, uh-uh, um, this is my safe place, this is my home, this is now where my kids go to school, this is now where I go to work, and I'm not going to try and do this now, I'm going to sit tight and just be in my house. Um, so the inventory that likely would have come onto the scene um, earlier this year uh, did not materialize until now. What advice would you give to buyers uh, and sellers in this market right now? Um, to sellers, I would say get your house on the market right now. And I'd put that in all caps with three exclamation points. I don't think in my career I've ever seen a better time to be a seller. Um, pretty much everything that is priced right, and the prices have escalated dramatically, but if it's priced right, it's going to sell. 
Um, the advice I would give though, and I know it sounds self-serving, get a real estate agent. And the reason is, is there is a lot of upside in the pricing right now, but if you misjudge that, and you know, pigs get fed, hogs get slaughtered, you misjudge that pricing, and you put it too high, and it doesn't sell quickly, there is no honeymoon period anymore. In a market that's over inventoried, your house can stay on the market for a long time because there's more sellers than buyers, and the buyers understand that ratio and give you slack as a seller for being on the market too long. But in a market that's this frothy, where you know, the, it's musical chairs, uh, you get the price wrong and your house sits, it becomes stigmatized absurdly quickly. And so you need somebody to help you understand how you can not leave money on the table, but also not get mispriced and put yourself in a very dark light. Understood. As far as buyers are concerned, um, I'm sorry, same advice. Get an experienced real estate agent who understands your market and here's why. We have had situations, numerous situations, where there have been 10 offers in a house, on a house in the first day. 10. Um, and with terms that are crazy. And there is a playbook that an experienced agent knows how to work that can put things into the contract that allows the shortest guy on the basketball team to win in a jump ball. Um, but these are tactics that are learned through vast experience and understanding and, and, and being a good question asker of the listing agent yeah. um, and understanding what's important to the seller and baking those things into the offer. And God willing, maybe even bringing your buyer to a house that hasn't even hit the market yet, that you know, we are constantly divining where's the, the secret source of this inventory. So um, once again, um, if left to your own devices, you don't have a coach on the sideline and you're likely to get squished by someone like me. So you might want to hire someone like me. All right, Lori. Well, thank you so much for your time this morning. And this is something we'll sure to be keeping an eye on as uh, homes continue to sell quickly. Bye.